In this video, we'll cover all the basics of configuring the scheduler widget. It displays appointments across a timetable and allows you to quickly change different timetable views using the View Selector and navigate to the required date using the Date Navigator. The widget also makes it easy to create, modify, and delete appointments as needed. Like any widget from the DevExtreme library, the scheduler widget can be added using the jQuery, AngularJS, or Knockout approach. Here, I'm using jQuery. I've already created a simple web page and added references to the following libraries, jQuery, Globalize, and WebAppJS. I've also referenced WebAppJS styles that correspond to the light theme. Now we need to add the scheduler widget onto a page and set up appointments for it. I've already prepared an array of objects representing information on appointments, tasks, events, and other similar data. Let's assign this array to the widget's data source configuration option. See how the scheduler looks with the specified data and default settings. The scheduler shows a built-in date navigator, view selector, and timetable. By default, the scheduler refers to the current date. Let's find the predefined appointments. And here they are. I can modify appointments by moving, stretching, and shortening them in the timetable. I can also edit them by invoking a pop-up detail window. I can delete them and add new ones. As you can see, I can also make an appointment lasting a whole day, as well as make them repeat in a specified time period. Let's modify the scheduler by providing a custom configuration for the widget. First, I'll specify the date to be displayed initially in the scheduler. To do this, I'll use the current date option. And let's run the resulting code. As you can see, all appointments are shown between 8 and 19 hours. So let's specify the start and end hours in the scheduler view's time interval. I'll use the start day hour and end day hour options for this. Now the scheduler looks a little better. All right, I'm going to define a list of views available within the scheduler's view selector. I'll use the month, week, work week, and day views. I'll also set the current view option to make work week. Here is the result. Finally, I'll define owners that are specified for appointments in my data source as resources that are available for appointments in the scheduler. And here is an array of possible owners. They are defined by the text, ID, and color fields. I'll assign this array to the data source field of the object defining the owner resource kind. To associate an appointment with a resource, I'll set the field option of the owner resource to owner ID, a field that specifies a resource for appointment objects in my data source. I'll also give a name to the label that will be used for the editor specifying a resource in the appointment pop-up detail window. And let's see the result in a browser. Now the scheduler appointments are colored according to the assigned resource, and I can assign other resources in the appointments pop-up detail window. And that's it. To learn more about elements of the scheduler widget and the ways to customize them, refer to the corresponding documentation on our website. 
Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.